Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney, and in this third segment of Water Experiments, we're going to make a fountain inside a bottle. Now, it's very easy. We're going to use this device called a fountain connection, and it works every time you turn the bottles over. There we go. When we look a little closer, we'll see that it's not continuous, but more of a spurting fountain. Looking inside, we see a combination of water and air bubbles flowing up and down both tubes inside the bottle. Now this can also be made in a variety of different sized bottles. Now I actually designed this piece about 30 years ago, and if we take a closer look at it, I'll show you how it operates. The original design started with two soda bottle caps and two straws. This led to a single connector that would hold both the straws and connect both bottles together. A close examination of the straws show that they both have holes drilled in near the one end. And this is the end that's put into the connector. One on this side, and then the other straw on the opposite side. One end is screwed into an empty bottle, the other end is screwed into a bottle filled with water. Turn the bottle open, you get a little spurting fountain formed in the upper bottle. Now let's take a look and see how it works. When the bottle is turned over, water will flow through that tube into the lower bottle. This action reduces the air pressure in the upper bottle and increases the air pressure in the lower bottle. Air will then flow from the lower bottle to the upper bottle through the other tube to keep the air pressure balanced. Now remember those holes in the tubes that are right near the connector? Those holes are going to allow water to flow into that tube that's carrying the airstream upward and the result is that bubbling fountain that we see in the top of the bottle. We can also see air bubbles in the tube going down into the lower bottle. Where do you think these air bubbles are coming from? Now this fountain will work with just a pressure change in one of the bottles. For example, if I turn it over and I disconnect the bottom bottle, uh, there we go, and I pull it apart, it still works. Now let's try the reverse. If I unscrew that bottom bottle, and then I replace the upper bottle with an open face bottle, there we go. Now we're simply going to pour some water into that one. Once again, it still works. In slow motion, you can really see the air bubbles. Now, if I unscrew the bottom bottle, it stops. So we must have a pressure differential in at least one of the bottles for this to operate. And I'm out. <laughs> now, this is an example of my original prototype for this piece. I have made it with two soda straws, two bottle caps, and a little bit of tape. Now let me show you how you can make one for yourself. The first step is to join the two bottle caps together. While holding them top to top, take some plastic tape and wrap it around a couple times. So here are two caps together. The next step would be to drill two holes through it. The holes need to be slightly smaller than the tubes so that they fit tight and don't leak. Now these straws were thick enough that I had to drill the holes. 
the thinner straws provided for sodas work just as well. Instead of drilling those, simply cut small holes using scissors. Whichever you use, remember it's the side with the small holes in it that fit inside the connector. Insert the second straw, making sure that you use the side with the holes. So we have a straw coming out either side. One side goes in an empty bottle, the second one goes down into a bottle filled with water, and there it is. Turn it over, and it should give you a nice bubbling fountain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this session on Fountain Connection and hopefully you'll try one for yourself. I'd like to thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.